What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. So we're approaching our one million subscriber here on YouTube and for that I want to stop and thank all of you who subscribe to my channel, who support what I do and who consistently watch the videos that I put out. As a way of paying that back, you guys have asked me for a long time now, Jeff, let us see a day in your life. Let us see what it is that you go through from a business standpoint, what your nutrition looks like, what your workouts look like and even what your business looks like. And what I wanted to do was do exactly that, show you guys how it all starts and what it looks like from a day to day for me. And it's pretty much the same a lot of the times for me. I like to have a routine and a schedule and I think it's a very important thing for those that want to try to get to a certain goal. Be very focused, have a schedule, try to stick to it as much as you can. For me it all starts breakfast at 8.30 in the morning. I get up at about 8. I'm not the earliest riser in the world but you'll see why that is as this day plays out. And for me, again, I've shown a lot of different meals that I like to eat. My favorite one we've covered on this channel before, pumpkin oatmeal, scrambled eggs and salsa, some skim milk, kiwi slices. There's no fear of carbohydrates here, guys. I actually enjoy eating carbohydrates. I eat protein. I get everything I need in the morning to get me to feel the way I need to to get my day started. This is just one representative example. And it's off to business, AX business. Guys, it's obviously a lot to do beyond just the videos that we put out here to get Athlean X to represent the ideal that I wanted to, to be the best in fitness, not just an okay. Remember, I always say I don't want to ever be average. And the same thing holds true for our business. I don't want to be average. I want to be the best. And I want our business to represent that. And I get to work on that and I start working early and I keep that going. Around mid morning, I'm still working, but I take a break to have a snack. And for me, this is a typical day for yesterday. I had an RX2 shake with bananas and strawberries. So RX2 is our post-workout, but on days that I know I'm going to be super busy, especially days that I'm going to be training, which you'll see later on, I'll have an RX2 shake. It's a perfect snack for me. It's easy for me to make in the morning and take with me, so I'm ready to go and I have no uh, concerns about my nutrition at that point, that, which a lot of people can trip up usually in that mid-morning. Then it's on the conference calls, distance coaching and training. So here, the, the work shifts a little bit. So now I got to be focused a little bit whether I have a conference call as a consultant for a team or whether I have to consult with one of my athletes who doesn't live in the Northeast. This is when I try to do that. It's my distance coaching time. So we'll try to catch up on a program, go over what it is that I want them to do for that given week or the next uh, phase and period of time just to check in. I have to make sure that I'm on top of what my athletes are doing or I feel like not only do I lose a little bit of control, but the, the, it's very, very easy, even for guys that are being paid to do this for a living, for them to slip out of their schedule as well. So it's my job as a coach to rein them in and make sure they're on track. Then lunch, 1.45. I do eat a little bit of a later lunch, but that's because, again, this whole morning is filled with work. My lunch yesterday, a matter of fact, grilled uh, Cajun chicken wrap with grilled vegetables, sun-dried tomatoes, hot sauce, a Greek yogurt. I'm loving the Chobani uh, banana and oats at the moment, so I had that and then a bottle of sparkling water. Sparkling water is one of my biggest secrets for making sure that I can drink enough water in a day. I love the difference between sparkling water and flat water. I can drink sparkling water by the bottle and continue to drink it and not even think about it, whereas bottled water or regular flat water a lot of times feels like a chore to me. If you feel the same, I would definitely try sparkling water. Again, no flavors, nothing in it, just regular sparkling water, but it's the texture that makes it just a little bit more interesting to me. Then it's client training. So now if there's a client that is in town and I have to train them here in the Xbox, this is the time that I usually do it, right here in the afternoon. A lot of athletes are not early risers either and that works great with my schedule. But if, you know, even if they are, it just works really well when we train in the afternoon. Guys have their energy levels up, they're ready to hit it and hit it hard. We'll do client training and it doesn't matter, home or on the road. Here you see me training with uh, WWE athlete Sting, yeah, this is out in Texas and this is at his location and I'll do that a lot too guys. I travel a ton for my job. If I have to go where my athletes are, then I have to go where they are and that's exactly what we'll do to make sure we get the job done. Back for mid-afternoon snack, this is now at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, again, yesterday, perfect example, black bean and vegetables uh, and onion soup, get another bottle of bar uh, sparkling water. So not a lot in the afternoon, I just didn't have a lot of time. Sometimes I'll try to aim for more if I can, but if I can't, this is, this is what it was. This is exactly what I did as of yesterday. Back to AX business again. So now it's back to trying to answer emails, plan out the videos that we're going to do. That's all kind of occurring in this part of the afternoon, strategizing what we have to do. And again, off to dinner now. Now I head home, dinner at 7 o'clock, ahi, sesame tuna steak, 
grilled uh, Cajun asparagus, sweet potato mash, another bottle of sparkling water. I told you I drink a lot of that. I wasn't exaggerating. Next is my favorite time of the day, which is where I decompress. So I've had my dinner and now I spend time with the family, my wife Michelle and our four little kids. These are our four kids, our four black labs. There's four in case you lost track now. We rescued a new one. Her name is Penny. We have two rescue labs. And again, my little public service announcement, if you are in the market for a dog and you're looking to get a dog or any kind of an animal, I would always stress it's a great thing to rescue. We have two purebred dogs. We also have these rescues and they're such great animals and they deserve, they deserve the upgrade. I think we, we spoil them like they're the, the only thing we have. So I know these guys lucked out, but if you're out there in the market, I would definitely say to do the same if you could. And after that, guys, now it's kind of getting time where I train. And I told you before, I've been training later and later at night. I start off 8.45, RX1 with water. Now, I don't necessarily always take a pre-workout, but if I'm gonna be training at night like I have of late, I always take a pre-workout. I just want that little extra boost so I don't fade out where others are already hitting the bed. I gotta be ready to train and train hard, so I hit my 8.45, 30 minutes before I train, and then it's training. And this particular workout here that you're seeing went from 9.15 to 10 o'clock. I did a little bit of athletic training and conditioning, but I really, uh, this time, hit my shoulders. It was a shoulder workout for me. So I trained for, as I said, 45 minutes. You know, again, if you take the conditioning out of it, I was probably training hard 30 minutes on just my shoulders. But you'll see, I'm training hard and I'm working on getting it done more efficiently. You don't need to train for hours and hours to get an efficient, effective workout. If you train hard, you can't train long, and I say that all the time. This particular workout had me wiped quick, but I know that I did what I needed to do to spark that progressive overload to build, get stronger, and come back bigger and stronger. Post-workout, after I'm done, 10 p.m., I never miss my RX2 with cinnamon. So uh, guys always ask me their particular recipes. I get a little bit, I'm a little bit boring when it comes to my post-workout shake. I just like to put cinnamon in it. It's already flavored vanilla. This is my go-to shake. I have it every single time I'm done training. I feel it's exactly what I need for, to, to conclude a hard training session. I view my workout not necessarily ending when I put the weights down. I always view my workout as continuing because your body doesn't just say, okay, we're done. Now you go back to doing whatever you want to do. It's a continuous process and it continues here as you fuel your body after your workout. That's what I do. And guess what? It's back to business again. Matter of fact, this is my most productive time of the night. Anywhere in between 1030 and one o'clock is probably my most productive time. There's less emails coming in. There's no more phone calls to be made. Everybody else is sleeping. And I feel like I'm getting ahead of the rest of the world. And this is where I like to feel like I can get through and get a lot of work done. And I actually wind up doing that. And of course, right before I go to bed, 12.30, about 30 minutes before I finally put my head on the pillow at the end of the night, I have my RX3 Reconstruction, which is our nighttime protein recovery drink. I just mix it with fresh blueberries a perfect way to end, my, to end my day. Even when I haven't trained, I also have my RX3 just to give me the nutrition that I need because remember guys, you, your muscles grow while you're sleeping. What you do in the gym is not making your muscles grow, it's breaking them down. What you do to fuel your body when you go to bed, that means everything. So don't ignore your nutrition, certainly don't ignore the opportunities you have to provide your body with that nutrition at the right time. That's what I do here and again, 12.30, one o'clock, Half hour later, I just give it a little time to digest. One o'clock to eight o'clock, that's the time that I stay in bed. Pretty much do this again the next day and rewind. I am a little bit repetitive here, but I think it's a good for you guys to see the schedule and see what it's like. And again, you may not have the time to do what you want to do, but you'll make the time if it's important to you. And I hope that you guys, after having watched this channel, found enough things and enough reasons to become serious about what you do. Take your nutrition seriously, take your sleep seriously, take your training seriously, and make the time for it. Because I promise you guys, it is well worth the time that you will spend doing it. All right, guys, if you found this video uh, helpful and you liked it and you want to see more of these behind the scenes, let me know. I'll make sure I do more of them here as we approach our 2 million subscriber. All right, guys, thanks a lot again. I'll be back here again in just a couple days.